एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय ऑनलाइन ज्योग्राफी क्लास केएसके ज्योग्राफी आई एम बैक अगेन विद द ट्रोपोग्राफिकल मैप यू नो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर योर पॉजिटिव फीडबैक ऑफ द पार्ट 1 ट्रोपोग्राफिकल मैप हियर आई एम टू डिस्कस अबाउट द नेक्स्ट ऑफ द ट्रोपोग्राफिकल मैप पोर्शन इन दिस क्लास राइट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट आई विल स्टार्ट व्हेयर आई फिनिश लास्ट क्लास राइट फ्रॉम देयर ओनली आई विल स्टार्ट टू फॉर टुडेस पोर्शन राइट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हियर यू विल सी द आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ परमानेंट विलेज एंड towns remember the symbols you know village settlements that thing it will be shown in the red color boxes if you will see the red color boxes like that it means those are the permanent village or settlement and if you will see the cross marks like that it means those are the deserted place it means where people used to stay before but right now no one is staying there right so those symbols it will be like cross symbols like that next one more important things in the red color box you will see the two types where you know you will see the red color rectangle box that it will be you know filled with the red color it means those are the permanent house and if you will see only the red color box but it is not filled with the red color it means those are the temporary house right so next here you can see the means of communication that's very very important right you will see that type of symbols in your topographical map and you have to identify the you know types of roads basically expressways but remember which are the topographical map portion you are getting that is g43s7 and g43s10 there you will not get the expressways but you know for your knowledge you need to know expressways it will be shown with this type of color like the purple color it will be used for expressways right national highways that you know maximum time that type of uh, rain it will be given what is the color here you can see the pink color it will be given and one more you know tricks to remember the national highways you will see here along with the you uh, know pink color line here it will be written nh and there are some number like nh 13 or something like that it means that is national highways number 13 in that way you can remember next state highways state highways it will be marked with the brown color like this and along with the state highways also it in place of nh it will be written sh and then some number right in sh suppose here it will be written sh 15 it means that is state highways number 15 next district road district roads it will be marked with the yellow color like this right yellow color like this that is the district road next to our unmetal roads unmetal roads you can see the red color line and it will be broken red color line like this you have to identify through that and don't worry you know if you have any confusion please refer to the topographical map that it will be provided to you just below the lesson portion there also you know it will help you to avoid such type of confusion next one you can see the car track car track it will be like red color one single line that is the car track it very easy to understand next one the pack track pack track you know where the cross symbols it will be there it means that is with pass and if there will be no cross line it is pack track without any pass next the footpath footpath it will be symbol like dotted red dotted line like the footpath like this and footpath you will see in between the you know barren lands or in the forest areas such footpath lines it will be there that is the footpath right so in that way you need to understand the types of roads right so don't worry as i said you know if you have any confusion in the examination hall please refer to the legend portion that it will be given along with your topographical map now next here you can see identification of river flow last class in the last video i have discussed about the finding the cardinal direction so with the help of cardinal direction with the same concept you need to find out the river flow direction right here you can see river flow how will identify the river flow first of all first of all go for the arrow marks right if you will see the arrow marks mentioned on the river so it means that showing the river flow direction if you will not get the arrow marks then you know you need to check the relative heights and the spot height in the surround areas so according to that you can find out the you know river flow direction but most probably you know which map you will get their arrow marks it will be given so here you can see in this map so first of all you need to see the river name what is the river name that is sukli nadi sukli nadi is the river name and this is the river now what is the flow direction here you can check there's the arrow marks is given there right here you can see the arrow marks is given there so the arrow marks is going like this so what will be the direction how will find the same thing you need to apply that 
that we have applied for finding the cardinal direction. So what will be there? So the upper side that is the north and this side is the east and this side is the south. So what is the direction is going? It is going in the southeast direction, right? Southeast direction. Now the very very important part, the river bank. Now how will find the river bank? Remember river bank either it will be right or left. Now how will find? Just you need to see, you need to imagine which direction river is flowing. You need to stand and your face should be which direction river is going. I repeat, you need to imagine that you are standing on the river and what is the river arrow direction, your face should be in that direction. Now just see, which side it will come in the right hand side, that is the right bank. Which side it will be left hand side, that is the left bank. So river is going like this. So you imagine you are standing here, right? And now just see, this side, so this side is the right side. This side is the right side and that upper side, it will be the left side. Now just see, so you can say it like the beacon was that settlement is situated right bank of the Sukli Nadi, right? So this thing is clear. Now we'll go for the next drainage pattern. Very, very important drainage pattern. According to your slavers, there will be three types of drainage pattern. According to your slavers, there will be three types of drainage pattern. What are those? Dendritic, trellis and radial. So how we'll find out? Dendritic, it means it will look like you know, black color line. It will make the structure in such way it will look like leafless branches of tree. Leafless branches of tree, right? And you will see tributary river, it will join with the main river less than 90 degree angle, right? So its structure, it will be like that. So it means these are the dendritic pattern. These are the dendritic pattern. Now trellis, for trellis you will see the tributary river, it will join with the main river within 90 degree angle, right? Or almost vertical it will join, right? Almost vertical it will join. So here you can see this is the main river and the tributary is 1, 2, 3. These are the rivers are joining with the main river almost vertically. That it will indicate that this is the trellis pattern. Tributary river join with the main river with 90 degree angle or vertically or the tributaries it will be almost parallel with each other. So that time it will be called trellis. And when it will looks like the you know, leafless branches of tree, right so that time it will be called as dendritic pattern and the last one radial for radial you need to remember one thing you will see the brown color patches it will be there you will see the concentric circle it will be there of brown color patches so here you can see the concentric circle of brown color patches here right here you can see the concentric circle of brown color patches and the rivers or the streams are you know crossing the brown color patches and going in different direction like this here you can see so that it means that is a radial pattern that means the radial pattern and sometime when you will see you no know, black color line but broken it means that is the disappearing stream black color line is broken it means that is the disappearing stream right so going for the next the types of settlement types of settlement first of all settlement it will be marked with the red color boxes settlement it will be marked with the red color boxes and according to 2023 slavers you no know, scattered and compact these two type of settlement you need to identify linear settlement is out of the slavers now but there's another term also is there like the scattered settlement is also known as dispersed settlement and the compact settlement is also known as cluster settlement now how to identify right when you will see the red color boxes it will be very congested like this red color boxes are very congested like this so that means those are the you know cluster settlement or compact settlement and where you will see red color boxes it will be far away from each other it will be little bit away from each other if you will see this particular box you know here you can see the red color boxes are there but one is here another one is here you know another one is here so you can see those red color boxes are little bit away from each other so that means these are the scattered or dispersed settlement scattered or dispersed settlement next very important question the question it will be there you know according to the four figure grid reference they will ask what are the you know natural features and what are the man-made features so what are the things you need to look for that natural features river or stream right first of all go for the river and stream that it will be easy to identify next broken ground broken ground if it will be there that also is the natural features next one sand dunes sand dunes means that you know brown color patches it will be there brown color patches it will be there like this so that time that means that is the sand dunes that is made through the natural process rocky slope that also you know rocky outcrop rocky slope that is also natural features and the cliffs that also is the natural features now let's go for the you know 
man made features man made there will be so many features it will be there so you know try to find out maximum the question it will be given there like one or two man made features you need to find it out through the four figure grid difference so what are those roadways right that you can find it out easily road and the railways if there will be railway track along with the symbols you can understand canals you know embankment causeway diggy fire line aqueduct power line police station post office hospitals there will be two types right one that will be the veterinary hospital when it will be marked with the blue color blue color you know plus symbols and the circle within the circle so that means that is a veterinary hospital and if it will be red color you know red color plus symbols and the circle it means that is for normal people right and sometime one more thing you need to be very careful if it will be written ayurvedic if it will be written ayurvedic it means those are the ayurvedic hospital you need to mention according to that and if there will be only plus there will be no circle if there will be only plus no circle it means those are the dispensary i repeat if there will be only plus symbols red color plus symbols but no circle it means those are the dispensary right so in that way you need to you can you know find it out easily which are the man made features and what are the natural features right next you can see the climatic condition you know very important question the question it will be there you know predict the climatic condition of that area given map and as well as you know they will ask the question justify it so the generally you know that's very easy generally what type of map you will get that it will be hot and dry or you know arid or semi arid area so i am giving you some easy tricks how to you know identify it is hot and dry or arid or the hot and seasonal rainfall this generally two types of uh, you know climate condition it will be given there right so how will say the hot and dry or arid if you will see the sand dunes on barren land sand dunes and barren land it means you know white patches means barren land so that time you can mention it that is a hot and dry or arid and if you will see the given map those type of features it will be there like non perennial rivers broken ground open scrub with such type of features it will be there it means there is the effect of seasonal rain right rainfall it will be there but less generally it will be hot and you know dry but seasonal rainfall it will be there right so you can mention it in that way right next very important question what is the main economic activity you know in the particular area so you need to you know predict the main economic activity after observing the topographical map now what you will do so suppose for agriculture when you will mention agriculture if you will see the yellow color patches is there much more on the topographical map like this it means those indicates the agricultural activity those are the agricultural field right mining if you will see the stone quarry or marble quarry those terms it will be written on the topographical map it means mining is the main economic activity and if you will see the green patches like this so it means those are main economic activity it will be there forestry along with that if you will see the open scrub right so it indicates that there is a main economic activity that is the animal rearing open scrub that indicate the animal rearing and even you know if you will see the veterinary hospital so that also indicate there is a animal rearing is a one of the important economic activities before i finish i want to share very important information with you why you know maximum student they used to make mistake few features are there it will not ever come under the man made or it will come under the natural features what are those like the survey tree right survey tree tank those are the features if you will get in the topographical map don't mention it either in natural features or man made features hope this video it will help you to get full read of our uh, topographical map portion and you can get full score from there thank you very much all the best